Hello and welcome to Elite Geospatial. Special. Welcome to class with me. And today we're going to be looking at um, how to download administrative boundary of any country of the world. Now, you may be a freelancer, you may be working for people from different countries, and uh, it's kind of difficult to know where to get the administrative boundaries of those countries, especially when it is not your own country of residence and all that. And you know, some clients basically don't even have an idea of that. Yes, but they're supposed to provide some details for you to be able to use and do their work and all that. So today we're going to be looking at how to download those data and subsequently how you can use them and all that. So today we're going to be looking at downloading the administrative boundary of any country. So is this site called diver.gis.org slash gdata, geographical or geospatial data. All right, so once you log on to the site, you're going to have country so you select any country of your choice now these are all the countries that are available so you search to the country you want to download uh, a client is a, a, one of my subscribers asking me uh how they could get this done and he was specific about the country so uh we have uk united kingdom so he has been getting work from united kingdom so he didn't know how to download so you just select united kingdom as the country any country of the world, you just make a selection and then here we have administrative area that has to do with the boundaries. You have inland waters, roads, rural roads. Anything you click and download here comes from that very country of your selection, all right? So if you want to download the administrative area, click on this. If you want to download road clearers, you click on this. If you want to download railways, you click on this. If you want to download elevations, you click on this. But our land cover, you click on this, population, we click on this, and uh, everything basically. So we're going to do, we're going to download the administrative areas. So once you click on OK, it's going to process, and we're going to ask you to click on download. So the download country is United Kingdom, and uh, the subject we're downloading is administrative areas. Now, it's going to wrap everything into a zip, and you're going to click on start download. So it's also four megabytes. So let's go back and maybe download one or two things again. So we go back and let's say we want to download railways, railroads. Then we'll click OK. So the country and subject is what you need to select. The country is where you want to download. The subject is what you want to download. So once you click on this two, uh, it should be downloading, but the network is kind of slow for me. Imagine network moving at 8 kilobytes per second. All right, so basically you understand that once you click United Kingdom and you click Railroad, whatever you're downloading will be the Railroad. So we can also check um, UK, United Kingdom, all right, again. Mm -hmm. And on this time, I will speak all world, words, world words. So I click on OK, click download, uh, and I click. So you just go back and download where more. Um, where I would, uh, you run cover, click on OK. Let's download. And the last little low download population. Uh, low download population. All right. So I'm not saying we'll go there and drop a loose can give an idea to build on something we want to work on the route. So uh, we have population and they are all downloaded. So let's go to. The folder to which the dialogues are stored in is in Compress. And uh, we have, we have uh, those cover population, rural root. So these are the details we've downloaded. So let's cut this and move them to our web folder as usual. 
Und los bist du hier. So I'm just going to extract by administrative. I'll extract using zip uh, extractor. So let's also do, uh, do this population. And uh, let's do this real root. So with this, we go into our gels. Uh, I'm just going to close those. Yeah. So that you bring in this new work. So as usual, we go to add data. So go to photo connection and here. So I am one way. So let's add the administrative data. The one is supposed to be the state, where it was supposed to be the whole country, and then supposed to be like the state in it. I don't know how US, uh, UK, uh, but I was at the table we'll seat for ourselves. All right, so these are the editors. If I remove this, we have the one, if I remove this, so I think the last one, which is the two, is uh, the one that has to do with all the boundaries of the state. So the country is England, you are taking the name, then this is England, and uh, I think it has to do with Okay, native as all the countries or whatever are, are, are into these places, they are all where, like Scotland, Wales, North Ireland, and all the rest, they are everywhere. So I want to remove just uh, Kingston. So let's remove this Kingston under England. So we will see where Kingston is selected here. Now, better still, let's do it this way. Let's have a look, and look at where each of these places are. Let's identify what this big place is. So this place is uh, Scotland and it's Highland. So let's call it Highland. I think since it's big, let's take Highland and do some work on it. So Highland under Scotland. Scotland will have Highland. So Highland is selected. So I right click. I will go down to data and export data. So I want to come out and we put it under the elevation. I'm going to just make it a shape now. Since we're not creating it, we'll just make it a shape now. And then we'll call it Highland. By L over Rogan, so I'm going to use on screen keyboard. Highland, and Highland is in Scotland, so you'll see. And that will be okay. So, all that is done, let's remove the rest. Let's remove the rest, leaving only where we have as our study area, right? So our study area is Hainan, right? So now let's bring in the population data we have. Population data are gridded. So let's bring in this grid and see. It's invalid raster. Okay, let's leave population alone. Well, let's bring in this and see. Okay, it's a graded population data. Okay. 
So I don't understand how this goes, but let's leave it alone first. So let's bring in a railroad. So these are the red lines that are within um, Highland in Scotland, right? So let's zoom to layer. These are all of it. So now we want to clip just um, the yellow road inside uh, of Scotland, Highland to precise in Scotland. So we come to geoprocessing and we click on clip. So we'll clip and we have what we call the input future, which is the road lines, because that's what we want to use in clipping. We want to uh, clip this road line to our extent, which is Highland. So I'm going to select the mm -hmm. Uh, the road lights so our extend where, where we want the clipping to extend to is just highland and then the last we have is our output class so our output class will be try to create a geodatabase and we say High, let's leave it as high, and then we put it inside here as what? Rail root. Uh, my arrow was not working, so let's leave it as rail root just to be able to identify where we're doing. So we'll click on OK and watch it clip uh, this whole thing to an extent. So I still have waiting, I don't know why it's taking long, but maybe let's start doing new one before. If you do, we'll cancel it, okay. So, Highland, and World Road 2, okay. That one has finished. I don't want to just sit and watch it. That one has finished, so uh, let's remove this one. So we have our Highland, the railroad covering Highland here. Uh, so we could just easily change it to road tracks. And that's all. So when you do, I just want to show you how we can easily break it. In case it's a raster, you go to the clip that is having the raster component and then you clip it. In case of this soil map that comes in a raster, so you just bring in this extent, which we just downloaded as administrative file. And then you also bring in the soil and then you bring in your clip file, and that's all. So basically, this is what I have to share with you today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please just encourage us, like, share, comment. We need those like. Please like the video, share with, comment, and invite your friends to come. We also do an offline training. You want to train both online and offline, like where we teach you one and one, or we also organize occasional group class. So. Anyone who feel like joining you could join us in any of them. My name is Mishalati and uh, I bring to those videos to you and I will see you in the next video. For now, bye bye.